Dear students, today let us discuss about the vector algebra, I mean vectors. As you are already familiar in the physics chapter vectors, in mathematics also you come across in detail a chapter vector algebra. In vector algebra, it comprises mainly four chapters which is, which is divided into the very first one is addition of vectors, second one is product of vectors. In the product of vectors, there are two chapters, sub chapters. One is dot product or a scalar product. The second one is vector product. The last chapter is multiple product of vectors. In multiple product of vectors, we come across about, we come across about scalar triple product, vector triple product, vector product of four vectors and scalar product of four vectors. And we come across some geometrical approach, applications of the vectors in a geometry. So, this comprises, vector algebra comprises all this chapter. Today, we shall discuss about a chapter a vector algebra, that is in that vector addition, I mean addition of vectors. Before getting into detailed discussion of addition of vectors, let us understand what is the basic definition of vectors and scalars. This vectors is the study of what mathematical systems is the study of what mathematical systems especially while solving the some problems mathematical approach especially in what geometry mechanics etc this gives very easy method while doing the what problems and what are the concepts you come across in vector algebra vector algebra which comprises all the topics what you study in the plus 2 level what you study in the what intermediate level so what you when you are preparing for what either mains exam or IIT exams or what MSET exams or on state level what engineering entrance examination oriented so you have you have the syllabus which comprises vector addition dot product, vector product, next multiple product of vectors. These applications we can apply in a large extent even in what research for inter also we can apply. In vector algebra, we come across what all the topics you are going to study in the what in this level. I mean vector algebra comprises calculus, vector algebra comprises algebra, vector algebra comprises geometry, vector algebra comprises trigonometry, comprising of all in one forms of what vector algebra. So therefore, in any exams you have more number of questions, more weight is you can find in what vectors, I mean vector algebra. This is the fast developing chapter where you can find out a 3D approach. If you know the vector algebra, you can get easy approach, easy way of thinking in three dimensional geometry. I mean 3D coordinate system, next DCS and DRS, next planes. This helps you to what? Think very quickly each and every concepts in a very depth way. So, therefore, let us discuss about the basic definition as what vectors. So, now vectors, first of all, vector. Yes, what is a vector? Vector is a physical quantity which is having both the magnitude and direction. What is that? Vector is a physical quantity which is having both the magnitude and direction. So, therefore, now if I take, now look at this is, now if I take A, if I take B, this is nothing but A bar. So, therefore, this arrow mark represents a what direction and the distance between A to B is taken as a magnitude. 
So therefore, every vector is denoted by a directed line segment. What is that? Every vector is denoted by a directed line segment. Segment, the distance between these two points. And directed, carrying a what? Arrow mark. So therefore, now this is denoted by either with this symbol, I can write a b bar, a b bar or a b bar arrow mark like this also you can write, you can also write. This represents what? Direction. Then what is its magnitude? So therefore, modulus of a b bar is equal to modulus of a bar. This is the magnitude. Now, I told this is a segment. For this vector, for this vector, when this vector is denoted by a directed line segment, directed line segment, A is the initial point and B is the terminal point. What is A? Initial point and B is a terminal point. Then this vector A bar is denoted by a directed line segment AB bar is equal to A bar. Now this is A bar or else arrow mark or else like this simply. So therefore its magnitude is what? Modulus of what A bar. So therefore what are the examples for a what vector? What I told vector, a vector is a physical quantity having both magnitude and direction. For example, force, velocity, acceleration, momentum, all this comes under the what, etc. Comes under the what? Vectors, which is having both magnitude and direction. So therefore, hereafter, every vector is denoted by a what? A directed line segment. I mean, a b bar is equal to a bar, where a is the initial point and b is the what? Terminal point. So therefore, modulus of a b bar is equal to what? Modulus of a bar. Modulus of a bar. Next, now I go to definition of what? Scalars. What is the definition of scalar? The definition of scalar, scalar is also a physical quantity, but having only magnitude, but having only magnitude, no direction, no direction. So therefore, now for example, mass, temperature, etc. Okay, it is having only magnitude, but no direction but no direction so therefore now i will write a scalar what is scalar a scalar is uh, denoted by just by any real number any real number so how to represent a scalar a scalar is uh, denoted by any real number k okay k belongs to r right k belongs to r now, example I told, mass, temperature, distance, length. Now, if the distance between the two walls is uh, 10 kilometers or 2 centimeters or 2 feet or okay, 2 meters, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all these are what? Real numbers. So, therefore, now, now look here, mass, okay, mass of me, okay, the weight, mass or a weight, the weight of me is what? 150 kilos. Do you agree? No. So, therefore, thing is what? The weight of me is a 200 kilos. The mass of a what? This pen is a marker. Can you say 10 kilos? All this 10 kilos, 150 kilos, all this come a distance, 2 meters, 10 meters, all this, it comes under the what? Real numbers. Because it has no direction particularly. So therefore, every scalar is denoted by just a real number. And meanwhile, a vector is denoted by what? Directed line segment. Directed line segment. Segment means length. Directed means what? Direction. So therefore, now this is the difference between a scalar and a what? Vector scalar and a vector. So, therefore, now we come across about 
two definitions. One is a vector, another is not scalar. What is vector once again? Vector is a physical quantity having both magnitude and direction and direction. Scalar is a what physical quantity having only magnitude but no directions. So therefore, now every scalar is denoted by real number, every vector is denoted by what directed line segment. Yes. After knowing the what definition of what that is a vector and a scalar, let us discuss about the classification of vectors, I mean varieties of vectors. So therefore, I mean types of vectors. So after knowing the types of vectors, we come across what? Null vector. What is that? Null vector. Yes. Null vector or a zero vector, the vector having its magnitude is equal to zero, but is having a direction. In null vector, initial point is same as terminal point. I mean, if I take this is A, if I take this is A, therefore, the null vector is denoted by a a bar or b b bar or m m bar or that is d d bar. Whenever, wherever, if you come across the vectors having a same initial point and terminal point, then those vectors are known as what? Null vectors. Null vectors. So, therefore, null vector is uh, denoted by what? 0 bar. So, therefore, now the thing is what? Come on. This is the what? Null vector. So, therefore, so now coming to Sunni is no fixed direction. No fixed direction. So, it has a direction, but it is not defined. So, therefore, a a bar, b b bar, m m bar, c c bar, d d bar, are known as what? Null vector. What is null vector? The vector, the vector, vector having 0 magnitude, magnitude is called null vector. and is denoted by and is denoted by o bar note in null vector in null vector in null vector Initial point, initial point is same as, same as terminal point or else initial point coincides with the what? Terminal point, terminal point that is a a bar. B B bar C C bar. Even though this definition looks very simple, but it is having its wide applications in vector traditions. So therefore, now look here. Now null vector is a what vector? In a null vector, initial point is same as what terminal point that is A A bar, B B bar, C C bar, and so on. And so on. Now, I go for what? Like vectors, two vectors, two vectors A bar and B bar are said to be like vectors provided 
they must have the what same direction any vectors having the same direction we can take them as what like vectors otherwise they are unlike vectors so therefore say for example i take a b is denoted by a bar now i take this is what c d i take this is what b bar yes i'm not speaking about the magnitudes now i'm focusing i'm atten giving the attention only on the what direction a bar is equal to a bar c d bar is equal to b bar are the two vectors having the same direction then such vectors we call it as what like vectors the vectors like vectors two vectors two vectors a bar comma b bar are said to be like vectors if they have if they have same directions same direction or directions same directions otherwise unlike vectors that is if i tell like this a this is b this is a bar for a b bar initial point is a terminal point is b if i go to this one is c d for this this is b bar for this now look here now from here it is approaching this is initial this is terminal so therefore now such vectors we called as what unlike vectors unlike vectors are nothing but what negative of a vector a bar is in one direction b bar is in what quite opposite direction such vectors we can also call it as what negative of a vector negative in terms of what directions we are not worried about the magnitudes it goes without saying that is quite obvious so therefore such vectors like vectors are the vectors having the same directions and same directions if they have opposite directions such vectors we called as unlike vectors or negative of a vector now we shall discuss about equal vectors and unequal vectors equal vectors right the vectors a bar and b bar are said to be equal vectors equal vectors if they have same direction and equal in magnitude equal in magnitude otherwise otherwise they are unequal vectors unequal vectors i told two vectors what they are a bar and b bar let us say this is a 
this is B, this is A bar. Okay, this is A bar, this is what B bar. Now I can say that's a CD. Yes, this is B bar. Modulus of AB bar is equal to modulus of CD bar. And directions of A bar and B bar are what? Same. Therefore, any two vectors are said to be equal, they must have the same directions and the magnitudes are what? Equal. So, satisfying the two conditions, it is having its own advantages and applications. So, therefore, having the same directions and equal in magnitude, otherwise they are what? Unequal vectors. Now, not having the what? Equal magnitudes or different directions, right? So, therefore, any two vectors, any three vectors, take any number of vectors, maybe any number of vectors are said to be equal, provided they must have to satisfy the what? Conditions having the same directions and equal in magnitude. Otherwise, they are what? Unequal vectors having a different direction or having different magnitudes. Yes, we come across about up to now three definitions, four definitions starting with the what vectors. What is vector? Vector is a physical quantity having both magnitude and directions. For example, velocity, acceleration, momentum, etc., etc. And every vector is denoted by a directed line segment. Directed line segment means it must have a direction and you must have a what? Initial point and terminal point. Segment means distance between the two points. When you know the vector's definition, then we come across it about a scalar. A scalar is also a physical quantity having only a magnitude but no direction. And every scalar is denoted by just a real number, just a real number. So therefore, now that is scalar. Later, we come across about null vector. Null vector is a vector having what? Zero magnitude. It is, its direction is there, but it is not defined, okay. So therefore, the thing is, in a null vector, it is denoted by zero bar. And always in null vector, initial point always coincides with the terminal point or terminal point coincides with the initial point. For example, A A bar, B B bar, C C bar, D D bar, E A bar and etc. Later, we went to what? Discuss what? Like vectors and unlike vectors. In like vectors, any two vectors, for example, we have taken, we can find our attention only for two vectors. We can go for any number. So, therefore, taking into consideration two vectors, a bar and b bar, when any two vectors, a bar and b bar, are said to be like vectors, we have taken into consideration only the directions. Okay. So, when any two vectors are said to be like vectors, having the same directions, otherwise, they are what? Unlike vectors, I mean, negative of a vector. Then we went to discuss about equality of two vectors, I mean equal vectors. The equality of any two vectors is defined only when having the same directions and equal in magnitude. Otherwise, they are what? Unequal vectors. Unequal vectors as I told you. Yes. Now, let us discuss about the type of a vector it is coincial vector, co initial vector. Co initial vectors. Co initial vectors. Right. What is co initial vectors? The vectors two or more vectors having the same initial point. Such vectors, we call it as what? Coincial vectors. So, therefore, now say for example, 
if I take EA, this is B. If I take C, if I take D, you can take what? E, right? All these are having the same initial point. I mean, that is AB bar, come on, AC bar, next AD bar, next what? AE bar, correct? All these vectors, etc., are known as what? Coincial vectors. What I told? The vectors, the vectors, the vectors, the vectors which are having which are having same initial point initial point are known as coincial vectors coincial vectors right coincial vectors now let us make a move to understand what is that addition of vectors it is a one of the important definition in addition of vectors so therefore as in what vectors we are under what addition of vectors addition of vectors addition of vectors so addition of vectors when any two vectors a bar and b bar are said to be are said to be add it or addition of any two vectors addition of any two vectors is a defined only when only when terminal point of the first vector coincides with coincides with the initial point of second vector second vector now here now a bar and b bar are the two vectors so therefore now initial point of the second vector that is any two is is addition of any two vectors is defined only when the terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the what initial point of the second vector for example i go for this now a b c so therefore this is the first vector a bar this is the vector b bar now b is the terminal point of the first vector meanwhile it acts as what initial point of the second vector so therefore when they coincide then it forms a what triangle so therefore in addition of vectors by using vector treatment how to add the two vectors as you know in the what common basic geometry in right angle triangle we have a pythagoras theorem what is that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square here so we cannot apply the what common pythagoras theorem for what vectors if we square what vector it becomes what scalar so therefore altair we have addition of vectors so therefore to add two vectors to add 
three vectors you can add any number of vectors maybe n vectors okay if you add what n vectors in that case the condition is the terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the what initial point of the second vector initial point of the second vector then only the addition of vectors is defined first of all we can find our attention or else let us focus our attention for the two vectors then we can go for any number of vectors the first and foremost thing we have to concentrate on this is so therefore the terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the what initial point of the second vector therefore this becomes a bar plus b bar so now as i told i can write a c bar from figure a c bar is equal to i can write a b bar plus b c bar right terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the what initial point of the second vector so therefore now addition of vectors is also known as triangular law of addition what is a triangular law of addition so therefore to become a triangle this must coincide then it forms a triangle so therefore now this is for two vectors you can go for any number of vectors therefore a c bar is equal to a b bar plus b d bar now look here now not only for this figure you can go for say for example this is the line segment i take it for c you can subdivide this is d this is e this is f and so on last one will be what z we can also write bd next what de next ef and so on the last one is what zc therefore the first and final point a and what c this is also you can add any number of vectors what i followed is the terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the what initial point of the second vector initial point of the second vector so therefore now this is called addition of any two vectors yes addition of any two vectors is also known as triangular law of addition i mean any two vectors are said to be added provided the terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the initial point of the second vector no vector addition first one vector addition satisfies satisfies the commutative law law commutative law now what is that this can be constructed as a parallelogram no commutative law is nothing but parallelogram law of addition so therefore now i take these two sides are parallel means what equal therefore you can call it as what equal vectors having same direction these two are parallel i can take a bar you know that is law that is a bar plus b bar is equal to b bar plus a bar a bar plus b bar is equal to b bar plus a bar so therefore now therefore now look let us prove this one is what's the proof of this one is it has its own advantage especially you'll find more applications in geometrical applications geometry oriented problems you come across this application commutative to law so therefore now let a b bar is equal to a bar b c bar is equal to b bar b two vectors b two vectors b two vectors now from the figure from the figure you can very well observe meanwhile now look here now ac bar is also a bar and ad bar is also b bar you can take into granted 
parallelogram is sum of two triangles. Therefore, from triangle, from triangle ABC, AC is the what common diagonal by using vector addition AC bar is equal to A bar plus BC bar. I can write AC bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. You call it as 1, right? Now next, from triangle, from triangle ADC, AC bar can also be written as by using vector addition. The terminal point of the first vector coincides with the initial point of the second vector. This is B bar. This is what? A bar. This is 2. From 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, yes, come on. A bar plus B bar is equal to B bar plus A bar. Hence, we can say that the vector addition satisfies commutative law. Vector addition satisfies commutative law.